What's up, guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. I hope you guys have had a great day. And if you're going into your night, I do wish you a good night's sleep. Now, before I get started here, I do want to say that I'm not a financial analyst. I am simply giving my opinions here. So please take anything I say with a grain of salt. Do your own research before you make any investments. So today we have been looking at a few things. I mean, really, it, it doesn't seem like much uh, in the way of anything important has happened. But I would, I would venture to say that there have been some things happening in the background that we don't know about yet. Um, now, as far as the Iran uh, sanctions go, I, I do believe they are supposed to kick in at midnight tonight. And um, China and Turkey have been issued waivers to continue buying oil from uh from Iran, I believe. Yeah. So, and Washington has also granted waivers to eight countries, including Turkey and China, to continue to buy Iranian energy, but only, uh, Washington says, to keep the oil, oil market stable. Those waivers are not permanent. So, Turkey, China, and eight other countries that they don't mention. Now, Russia, they kind of just don't care. Uh, so yeah, the, 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 repercussions that can come from this because this really puts uh your europe in a kind of a situation all right um is this what it, what ripple riddler was talking about not necessarily the uh, sanctions themselves but the the repercussions that will come about because of these sanctions uh who knows uh there's a lot that could be said there was uh so there was something here that I, I meant to save it. Uh, just bear with me one second. Okay, here we go. It says, of all the issues between Europe and the Trump administration, Iran has become the most divisive. The Europeans are actively working against the United States policy, which effectively puts them in league with Russia, China, and Iran. It is a huge strain in the transatlantic relationship, Mr. Stef uh, Stefani Stefanini said, if the Europeans manage to create a small breach in the hold that the U.S. has on international financial transactions, that could be that could be replicated, he said. And if they fail, he said, it would be another big grievance with Washington creating another minefield. Uh, so, yeah, it, it really kind of puts um, Europe in a tight spot. Uh, they do uh, want to um, honor the deal that is current uh, currently in place with Iran. But, you know, we'll see how this works out. Um, this could have something to do with what we'll see in the near future as far as uh, how things will be paid for. Um, just who knows? I mean, it, it definitely has some weight in, uh, in the world and, and the things that are going on currently. Okay. So I don't want to get tied to tied down on that too much. Just wanted to kind of uh, bring that to the forefront here. I'm sure you guys already know about it. Just a little bit of extra information there. So here uh, in this article in the Daily Hodel, XRP primed for 289% price increase due to institution, institutional investor volume and Ripple's X Rapid Crypto Research Group. Okay, so. Here, uh, let's see, not too long. I'll go ahead and uh, go into this article with you. XRP is, is significantly undervalued, according to a new report from the independent crypto research group, uh, Piccolo. Uh, the firm says Ripple's cr recent Q3 XRP market report points to further upside in the price of XRP due to a surge in international investor volume. Ripple reported 481% increase in quarter-over-quarter -quarter institutional direct sales of XRP, rising from 16.87 million to 98.06 million. Piccolo's research also points to the commercial release of Ripple's X Rapid, which utilizes XRP for cross-border payments as a potential catalyst for a rise in the price of XRP. It is important to note that XRP's value is derived when clients 
use XRP as a bridge currency on Ripple's XRapid platform and not directly from its other products. We derive its fundamental value from two aspects. Value of cost savings utilizing XRP on XRapid, not including savings derived from XCurrent. Value of locked up liquidity in Nostro accounts that could potentially flow into XRP. Estimated 1% of total locked up liquidity. Our analysts derived an intrinsic valuation of $1.75 per XRP token. The estimates used are conservative and it does not include tokens burnt, the growth of Ripple's market share, value attributed for error reduction and market share of, no, of other non-bank financial ins institutions. The firm also identifies several risk factors for XRP investors including potential confusion about the difference between Ripple and XRP, concerns whether XRP is centralized due to the fact that Ripple owns 60% of the total supply, lack of clarity on whether XR XRP will be classified as, an, as a security with several lawsuits pending on the matter. So, and you can go to these, I'll make sure I put the article in the description so you can check out check it out for yourself and even go to look at the uh, full article here. Um, so, yeah, there, there's, there are a lot of uh, variables here that are related to what's going on with XRP. Um, and essentially, the, the cons that they list here are really, honestly, it's, it's, they are, they're based in FUD, okay? They have, you know, potential confusion about difference between Ripple and XRP. Okay, so that right there is an intentional thing that a lot of uh, Ripple XRP haters, they do. They throw it out there. They This is why whenever I see an, an article that mentions Ripple as if it is XRP, it really kind of ticks me off because I, you know, it, it's pretty evident that they do it on purpose. Okay. Now the other concern about whether XRP is centralized, I mean, just because they own 60% own of the total supply means absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. China mines, uh, or ra rather, they have 80% of the mining power in the world of Bitcoin. So you can't tell me that, you know, Bitcoin is not more centralized. XRP doesn't, of course, require any mining. Just because, um, just because Ripple actually has 60%, and, and in all honesty, we all know that they can't even touch it. But see, most people don't know this, and it's because of exactly what I said. It's because FUD is being put out there, and, and, and it's been being, it's being, um, um, put out in a way to make it seem as though Ripple is you know, in this particular case, is holding on to all these coins and just waiting for a time to flood the market with it so he can, you know, just kind of kill it, which would, <laughs> which makes absolutely no sense at all because they would only be killing their own profit. Um, and then the last one, the lack of clarity on whether XRP will be classified as a security. Well, we already know that Former uh, employees of the SEC have already said, at the very least, at the very least, XRP will be considered a currency. Okay, um, I I kind of feel as though, you know, it's possible we may never get any clarity from the SEC, or if it comes, you know, it's going to come. Who knows when? Uh, that's we all know that. XRP is cannot be a security, absolutely cannot. XRP, uh, or rather Ripple, does not uh, control the majority of the nodes. So there, there are too many, too many ways to just, you know, just totally dispel any thoughts of such matter. That's that's just, it's just ridiculous to think that XRP is a is a security. So. Let me go ahead and move on. I am, uh, let's go ahead and look at the price again. Oh, we just broke 50 cents. Um, now, 
guys, we could be looking at some something pretty, uh, pretty nice uh, tomorrow morning. Not sure how this will happen now. Myself, I kind of thought that once we hit about a dollar, um, and you know, we would see a huge, we would see that huge jump. We, you know, see it kind of incrementally uh, go up over the next few days, and then all of a sudden there will be kind of a, a huge move. Will that happen? I don't know. Again, what I'm saying is just these are just my own personal opinions. And again, only take this with a grain of salt. I have no idea. You know, actually, all of us who are making videos out here, we are doing the best that we can at guessing as it, as it relates to what we see. You know, there's some guys doing some awesome work. Um, Sam I am, I would definitely have to put him uh, up there because of the of the hard work that he puts in when you know looking through the the, the Ripple Riddler information, the bearable guy information, and and just the time that he puts in that, and then also the fact that he um, he 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 includes the whole community. So I think that's I think that's really nice and that's what we have to do because we are are we are essentially building on each other. That's that's what this is all about. We cannot by any means uh do this on our own. We have to cooperate and and help each other um provide our our ideas and our insights and share it with each other. I think this is the way we we keep moving forward and even after we reach uh those those high points that we're looking for whether it's uh fifty dollars or hundred dollars or whatever it might be wherever xrp lands i mean w whatever it is that uh you feel is the best point where you can start to really take some profits whatever that is i think even after that we need to continue because our work isn't over then. I think, I personally think our work is just beginning because at that point, considering everything that's going on in the world with the, uh, with the stock market, with a possible, uh, problem with our housing market, that's the housing market is in trouble as well. Just like it was in 2008. Uh, the other video that I put out, um, the, the, you know, concerning the, the stock market and all of that. Um, we don't know what's about to happen, but we do know that XRP will be highly valuable and every country in the world will be using XRP. So, like I said, our work will just be beginning because we will be responsible for helping our brother. That's something uh, that's something that I fully believe in. We are our brother's keeper. That is is what it is. There are a lot of, yes, people that throw that FUD out there. I've had plenty of it myself, but I just delete it. If I don't if I don't like it, if I really don't like it, and if I feel like it's it could be detrimental to uh what someone who is new to the space could, you know, if it could, if it could uh, upset them or anything like that, you know, I don't mean to censor, but I think in some some cases it is it is necessary. So, um, I just like I said, I think that we need to be aware of what's coming and our responsibility to those who are less fortunate, who weren't, uh, you know, weren't plugged in enough to go ahead and get into XRP. So, uh, anyway, enough of that. That's my, <laughs> that's my soapbox right there. I'll go ahead and put it away. Um, now this I found very interesting as well because, uh, uh, so Amazon teaming up with Western Union adds confidence in possible Ripple XRP partnership. So what this, I'm not going to read it all, but what it, what they're basically saying is that, Amazon is, you know, of course, get, teaming up with the Western Union. Now, with that happening, 
we know that Western Union does not have technology like XRP by any means, by any stretch of imagination. So what we could be looking at is Amazon um, realizing that, hey, uh, Western Union, you're not providing us anything better than we already have. You know, maybe the, the payments can happen a bit faster, but your settlement is still going to be the same uh, time frame. And then on top of that, they still have to maintain the Nostro Vostro accounts. Uh, if you, I'll go ahead and I'll make sure I'll put this in there as well in the description as well. It's very interesting. Uh, the, the take that this, uh, journalist actually, uh, actually takes on this. I, I really, I, I found it very interesting, but check it out. Um, he's saying that essentially Amazon may end up falling out with Western Union after they get on board and, and, end up coming over to XRP or rather, you know, over to Ripple uh, for a solution, which would be XRP. So anyway, guys, I, I just thought this stuff was very interesting. Video is already getting kind of long. I don't want to take it too far, but I uh, thought you guys might want to know this. Um, I do want to say uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Easy XRP. I really appreciate uh, what you did tweeting out my video and uh, you know uh, and guys all of you who have subscribed to me or rather uh, following me on Twitter and subscribe to the video uh, I'm sorry to my uh, to my uh, uh, channel here and if you have not subscribed make sure you do so make sure you hit the like button and also hit the post notification button so you know when I have uploaded again that being said I hope all of you having a great day. Take care of yourselves and God bless.